Hey everyone, it's Emmy Drennan back again for the final video. Um, so in this video, I wanted to share about some of the lessons that I've learned um, in, in my life that have been really helpful. And um, I think one of the first things is that um, I have always been a really hard worker. And I think that I've had to keep um, keep motivating myself by by thinking what is my my dream what is my goal here and I always try to come back to that um sometimes people would ask me you know how do you deal with practicing repetitive things on the piano over and over again like don't you get frustrated or bored and it's like the answer is yes like I totally get frustrated and I've had to do a ton of stuff that it's like oh, I don't really feel like practicing the scales but I always think to myself okay, why am I doing this again? What is the overall thing? Oh, well, I really want to be able to play this song or I want to be able to write better. And just coming back to that has been, it sounds simple, but it's just so powerful for me to keep my motivation um, just fresh and renewed. And maybe it changes slightly every day, but it all comes back to, you know, what is my main, my main goal? And um, like I do find that writing down goals helps a lot too. And then it's always fun to check it off when you complete something. <laughs> it's very satisfying. Um, another another lesson is that um, I know for me, I'm, I'm quite the perfectionist and I want everything to be perfect, but sometimes that can be a good thing and sometimes it can be harmful. And um, I think that it's good to learn that not everything has to be perfect all the time. And um, I want it to be, but really sometimes the things that I think are terrible mistakes or glaringly obvious, other people don't even care about or notice. And even if they do, like that doesn't make me a, a lesser person. It doesn't make you a lesser person just because you messed up or like it wasn't perfect. And so um, that's something that I have to constantly remind myself about. I have a song called The Colors that kind of talks about perfectionism and is talking about, you know, being caught between these two extremes, like everything's black and white, everything's all or nothing. And my brain tends to go to that. And um, I need to always remind myself there are colors, there are colors in between. And the world is not that cut and dry. And, um, you know, it's good. It's good to have some in between um, and to also give yourself grace when you make mistakes. Um, Really the way to move forward and learn from mistakes is you, you got to give yourself some grace and say, hey, I did my best or maybe you didn't, but that's okay. You can do it next time. So um, I guess the other thing for me that's really helpful is I kind of touched on it before, but um, I think that having, I think that having high expectations of yourself can be a good thing, but sometimes um, it is important to realize that life gets in the way and Sometimes the best thing you can do is just keep going, get through the day, the minimum, you just show up. You know, you wake up, you get out of bed and some days that's all you can do. And, and that's better than giving up, which um, some people do choose, unfortunately. And um, I've felt that way. I felt like giving up. I felt really uh, down before and had horrible things happen that I just didn't want to keep going. But there was some little thing in me that's like, well, dang it, I've already survived this much. I might as well keep going. I mean, I, I have a purpose. And that kind of brings me to the next thing is I do feel that like my my purpose or calling, if you will, is is to to share my music and share my story and my messages to um to help other people and to to put it in a way that makes uh, makes them feel less alone. And I, I want you to know that even if you don't know me personally, like there are people out there like me, like I care about, I care about you. I care about my fans a lot. And I wouldn't be able to do any of this without you guys, seriously. And, um, you know, I just appreciate you joining my street team or inner circle, or even just like, streaming my music that's awesome and that allows me to keep doing what I can um to make more music and to it's kind of like a win-win for everybody I think um and I really do appreciate the comments I get some really great um 
just really nice people saying how much they like my music and how much it meant to them. And that honestly like means the world to me. And I hope to one day, I kind of said earlier, um, I'd love to go on tour and I'm in the process of hopefully recording a new album soon. So I'm like, all right, let's, uh, let's be, let's be positive and, and hope that it's going to happen sooner than I think it might. And, and then I can uh, really connect with you guys even better and um, maybe even me in person someday, uh, which would be awesome. But in the meantime, I'm, I'm here and um, I want to hear what you think. And I love you guys. And um, I really appreciate you. <laughs>